okay <laughs> hey guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome i hope you find a video that you like and you subscribe and if you are an og welcome back queen or king so guys today i have got your faves who are also my faves and also if they're not your faves what are you doing with your life I've got Mandy, the millennial mom, Mandy Janisa on YouTube, and I have got Tato, but not on YouTube. <laughs> mental <laughs> health Men mama. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mental mama, is it a? Yes. <laughs> mental oh. mama. But I'll cancel. Cancel. Ah. Cancel. cancel. <laughs> okay, I will also link their channels below. So. <laughs> You hate me. Sorry, friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, today we're talking about everything friendship, right? Um, I recently saw a tweet. I will put it up on the screen when I edit. Um, I saw a tweet. Actually, two tweets. One was saying, I don't want female friendships. I hate female friendships because of the experience that I went through and whatnot. I'm good with my guy friends. And the second tweet was a lady speaking about how female friendships have actually saved her life. So that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about everything friendships. Yeah. So uh, the question is, how do you guys feel about friendships? Like, how do you feel about female friendships? Like, are they something you feel is important or are they just you can do there? it like are you okay with not having okay obviously you can't say you're okay with because we're here <laughs> no you can't say you're okay with I know. So, you're just like, yeah why am i here then <laughs> <laughs> you're okay with that Jay, like i mean you're like okay if it were to end it's fine it's like fine. it's whatever okay. you know i can uh, live without having female friends so like yeah now nah, I'm with the latter. Female friendships save my life. Continue yeah. to save my life every day. I value friendships more than I value romantic relationships. Okay. And maybe that's why I'm single <laughs> and have a thousand friends. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> and I also share the same sentiments because I value female friendships more than break like male relationships. Because I, by the way, you guys, I have to mention this. I used to be. Girl number one, the one who tweeted that. She oh really? That I used to be girl number. I used to be like that. I think when I was younger. What happened? Um, there's a friend of mine that I met a couple of years ago. Um, in Cape Town. Hey girl. <laughs> I met her in Cape Town, and she was not even my friend at the time, and. Like she did something for me and I think that changed my whole perspective on friendships, you know. Um, so when I was, I was staying with my aunt in Cape Town and then we would go to church every Saturday and whatnot. And then this one day she comes to church, she's got this big bag of clothes. Brand new clothes. Like she didn't give me clothes that were and hers. Hand me downs. She didn't give me hand me downs. She just oh. came and she gave me this big bag. I don't know where she got my sizes from because the clothes actually fit me. Wow. And she gave me this big bag of clothes. And I'm like, I knew that the clothes at the time, but I was like, how? Mm. Like, and then I was like, this girl is my friend. Mm. And then that's how I became so invested in female friendships because I believe in female friendships. I love my friends. Like I just. <laughs> For me, like I, I, I hear you guys saying, or you know, you value female friendships over, you know, romantic relationships with men, but I don't necessarily compare. And I say this because I feel that the romantic relationships with men or or women, depending on you know, whatever you want, <laughs> um, and and your friendships with other women serve very different purposes yeah. in your life. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that they can be, you know, put in the same category. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I value my friendships with, you know, other women. But I also value uh, my romantic relationship. I think they have, they have different purposes. So, you me. know why I say that? It's because for the longest time, I've had friends... Well, they're not my friends anymore, but I've had friends who, the minute they get into romantic relationships, yes. I think it's they that dump. So it's, it's, it mm. comes from, whether I'm in a relationship or not, I'm my friends are my friends. friends. Mm. I'm not going to leave you at the club because, and I see this a lot on Twitter or so, social media, but when my man calls, I'm leaving. Um, I'm no, I had plans with you. If my man can't 
be away from me for a night while I'm with my friends, mm -hmm. then th that relationship is okay. a problem for me. A lot of women are male-centered. Like, I'm not bashing women, but a lot of us ha are raised to be male-centered. Yeah, As yeah. a result, we always choose men over women. Okay. As a result, you forgive your your boyfriend a thousand times for messing yes. you up, but so your, you friend your friend does this. That's the same thing the I was going to actually get into. Uguti, it's easy for us as women to forgive men, and it's so difficult for us to forgive our friends. Friends oh, for like exactly. the smallest, smallest things. Yeah. So I'm just like, for me, I I try by all means to treat the relationships the same way. Mm. We'll see. If I am a, if I'm a forgiving person, mm. nay, I can yes. forgive my friend. Mm. I can sit down with my friend and we can have a conversation about something that has hurt me or yeah. has hurt yes. my friend. So if you're someone who can't who can't sit down with your friend and have that conversation, then for me it's like Obega. If relationship in mm. daughter basically mm. here and, and you you're ranking yeah. me as your friend here yeah whereas it's I'm supposed to be to the like, same as yes. what you're yes. saying which we serve different purposes serve different but purposes. the respect yes. and it the love and the forgiveness the at least but i think also i think it's also important if you are in a relationship for your partner to know you know how important your friends are to you mm -hmm. and your friends to know how, you, how important your partner is to yeah, you. yeah, yeah. so I hear the chat of if my man calls, you know, I'll leave. I don't agree with it. <laughs> I also think it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes, if my man is in an accident. No, yes, obviously. But if my man just be like, I miss you, I'm no, outside the place. No, no. But also, no. when I'm, I'm out, out with my, my friends, friends, why are you calling me? You don't respect my time with my friends, yes. You see, so that's but what I'm also, saying. But also, maybe then I've made it easy for you to not. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That it's it's important it's just like any relationship mm -hmm. it's important for you that your your partner or your friend to know how how important other things in your life are uh -huh. so that say for example i have a need as a friend right mm. i'm yakoa mm -hmm. and i need you as a friend however i know that you know you are going through a difficult time yes. right now yes. in your relationship i will look at to say okay i know that i need her right now maybe something happened at work or whatever whatever but She's I, awesome. I can speak to her tomorrow. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you get what I'm saying? So as friends, you are able to do that. However, even in your romantic relationship, your partner can know, Hori, you know what? I yes, we planned um, a date night tonight. Yes. But you know what? Amanda, something happened to her. Yeah. Not physically, but like emotionally. Something She's happened. not okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my wife or my girlfriend has to go to her friend. Yeah. It's okay, we can go out tomorrow night. Do you, you get what I'm saying? I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very important. And... and, and the, the mistake that we make is we put the onus on the other person. True. The responsibility lies with you, you to say, person. you know what, my love, my friend, blah, blah, blah. Or you know what, friend, my well, love, my love, blah, blah, yes. blah. You get what I'm saying? The onus is on you. I cannot take responsibility for your relationship. Mm. And that's your true. partner can't take responsibility for your friendship. For friendship. And that's the mistake that we make mm. a, lot of the time, well, a lot of the time. Yeah, true. I agree with that. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> So for me, right, as I said, I value friendships a lot. And I can think of a couple of times where my friends have actually saved my life, right? I remember there was a time, um, I don't know, I, I don't want to say the incident with Uposis has saved my life, but it kind of like changed the way I see friendships and see women. Because after that, I had this other friend who unfortunately passed away oh, a couple friend. of years ago. Um, and I remember Oguti, yeah, now she passed away from, I don't know, like she took, so she had a, an anxiety attack and then she overdosed on the anxiety pills. So she was trying mm. to get herself to feel better and then she unfortunately overdosed and then she, she died. Yeah. And that lady saved my life because at the time when I met her, I was going through the worst depression ever. Mm. I was going through the worst depression in my whole entire life and she saved me because I remember there was a time when I overdosed and then she was the first person to actually get an ambulance mm. to come oh, so and she get literally me. So she life. literally saved yes. my life. Mm. So now every time when I think of female friendships, like when I, when I get into friendships, I try to be as intentional as possible because I feel like um, I can't be like, I'm your friend, but it's here, it's, it's, level. it's like, it's mm. just here, it's, 
yeah it's just for social for media surface, yes yeah. it's not it's for social media it's for people to see i i feel like i need to really mm. like get into it like i need to make sure i'm there for my friend i need to make sure Guti, on the days when i think of my friend i'm like mm, let me just send her flowers mm. you know mm, let me do this let me do oh my friend's not feeling well let me do this and that's me actively trying to to like be an intentional mm, friend because i have actually seen how women friendships can actually like be like can actually save your life because yeah. if you've got something happening in your life you can be like call me and tell her about mm. it you know because she's genuinely happy mm. for you she like there's nothing it's here she's just mm. happy for you as a friend you said something very very um important now when mm. you said you 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 always try to be intentional in your mm. friendships i feel it's so important because Adult friendships in general can just die when yeah. when mm -hmm. everyone is just passive. Guys, life is busy. Mm -hmm. Life is yeah. busy. There's work. <laughs> there's umjolo. There's hey. There's children. There's everything. So, if you don't have a friend or you are not a friend who's intentional, mm -hmm. who yeah. makes appointments, makes mm -hmm. plans, you know, not like oh hey, let's hook up let's sometime. Do coffee. Let's do coffee. <laughs> let's go for it. And then it never happens. You are the one who never says. You know what? Please block this time out in your calendar, or you know what? Let me pick you up. Or, or like I'm outside. Or or whatever the case <laughs> may be. Like you have to be intentional, and and sometimes your level of intent, yes, it can match, but it won't be at the same time. Yes, because sometimes that's someone true. might be going through a lot, mm -hmm. and they need that unati who will be like, hey friend, are you going? Are having a bad day? I'm sending you a slice of cake. Like literally, because I'm down and you are up. But you need to have that same desire. Mm -hmm. Can that's I say true. desire to be an intentional friend? Because she also knows, and you also know, Jorge, one day when you are down, someone is intentional about their love for you as a friend. Yeah, and yeah, they will reach true. out and say, but you get those friends who are just passive. Mm. Who expect, you know, you to be the one who's always reaching out. Yeah. You're always mm. calling. You're always checking. How are you? Hey. You know? Mm. And and that thing can build resentment. Because I also have a life. Like, yeah, I'm not doing this out of... Because I'm bored. Yeah. I'm being intentional with you because I, I, I love you and I want our relationship and our friendship to yeah. grow. Mm. Um, and that's how friendships die. Yeah. Sometimes they don't die because we fought. No, they're just mm. true. You can hear people say we outgrew each other. That's exactly how it yeah. happens. Well, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> the other person gets into some shady things that you're just like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be part uh -uh. of this. <laughs> just literally just die because mm -hmm. there was just there was no intent mm -hmm. there and for me those are the sad ones yeah true i think for me i've now that you say that i've i, I guess the friends i've lost is because there was no intent mm. it was a always feel like it's a one-sided friendship yeah. or i have well i had a friend where she only contacts me when she's single or she only contacts me when she's going through she stuff yeah. with her boyfriend mm -hmm. so that's why i think for me Going back to the and I, I value friendships more like I've been so unlucky with getting friendships mm -hmm. with women who are male-centered and that for me is a what is this thing? Are we, was, boundary. Not a boundary. What is the thing? Deal breaker. Deal breaker. Oh. It's a deal breaker. Now when I meet people whether you are in a relationship you're married or not can we respect each other, respect my time, respect, obviously, as you are saying, respect mm. your husband, respect your partner, but do not come to me only when you and your husband yeah. are going through things, or yeah. you only come to me when you are single, then I, oh, but, oh so I'm, not, I'm a place yeah. 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 Mm. yeah, no. Okay, so, and then there's the part where, like, your friends are far, like, where you move and go uh, to a different place i feel like those friendships are kind of like difficult figuratively or literally like when you literally move like when oh, you okay. leave a place like for instance i moved from cape town mm -hmm. to joburg and i left my friends that side mm -hmm. but i know i know so when i pick up the phone and i call the mm -hmm. police, we can still go and be like this mm -hmm. all the time but there are also friendships in that that actually ended it does yeah, I but doesn't it go like, back to the intent thing? Yes, because I my best friend from high school mm -hmm. is in Durban, and it's, I've been in in Gauteng since two thousand and seven, mm -hmm. and we are still as close mm -hmm. as we were, yeah, if yeah. not closer. Yeah, I guess it. But yeah. because we intention. both made it, made a, we make an effort. Yeah, to be in each other. The effort is important. Yes. yes, and also the dynamic of your friendship may change over time. Mm. So yeah, so, also like yes. having kids. Um, you know, hundred percent. Um, you know, I was getting married. Exactly, and like, that dynamic changes what, what? and. And it's important, um, I think the maturity of the friendship is also very important mm -hmm. to understand that my friend, uh, um, you know, is so for example, me and my best friend, 
we met, you know, and I was not married, I wasn't a mom or anything like that, whatever. Um, and, and the dynamic of our friendship has changed in that, you know, I've now obviously grown, our, 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 our home structures have changed. Mm. So, in a time where if she was going through something I would, and I would just jump up at 2 o'clock in the morning and go to her house, okay. yes, I can still do that in extenuating circumstances. Yes, mm. yes, yes. But she, and it goes back to the chat where I was saying that you can also have a look at the situation and say, you know what, we can talk tomorrow. Yes. Because she also knows that, you know what, this person she's is married. a mother, mm. she's married, she's busy with whatever. Yes, I'm going through something, but judging by the situation, I can talk to her tomorrow yeah, about this. Yeah. But she also knows that if shit hits the fan, and she calls me, I will be there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's also important, although the dynamic of your friendship has changed, that she, you, the other person, your other your friend or yourself, know that that love is still there. Yeah. So that if I that call and I'm saying I need you uh, now, you know, you know, you know, you know when to drop everything. Exactly, yes. Yes. and it's, it also means that you have to use that privilege. You know, with discretion. Yes. You can't abuse abuse yes. that yes. Mm -hmm. privilege because you because you know I would drop everything yeah, for you. True. You can't say for something. I, mean, I, can't, going, I can't be dropping things every day. Yeah. yeah like, you know, and you yeah. also can judge what you yes. know what. Just she knows I can show up at her door, mm. yeah. unannounced, mm. and be like, hey, daughter, Kobe. Hey. You know. And when you do that, you know that by. It's really that bad because yes. she wouldn't just wake up and just, just come. come. Hundred yes. percent. She knows that she, because she respects. You know what? Go. Mm. It will never be a fight. It will never be a, a discussion, a conversation. Mm. But why? Mm. Why? It, no. It's like a, It's like a family member. Mm. Yeah. Who's calling at a certain time? Mm. They will only do that if it's really yes. necessary. Yes. 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 And so that's where the respect comes in of your relationship and of your friendship. Yeah. But the onus is on who? Mm. On you. you as the friend. Mm. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> and then hey guys, <laughs> can I say something about the tweet number one? Yeah, <laughs> I have never been someone who has male friends, I do have them around, mm -hmm. but um, I always cringe when I hear women saying they prefer to be friends mm -hmm. with men because of less drama. I feel like the reason why men have less drama is because men don't hold each other accountable. Men don't call each other out. That's why deadbeats have friends. Mm. That's why rapists have friends. Ish. That's why your true. boyfriend can hit you in front of his friends and they're still friends with them tomorrow. Mm. That's true. If you guys did any of that, trust me, I do not want to associate myself yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. So women call each other out. And I feel like, not, no shame to any woman who feels like she's been hurt by friends and she doesn't want to anymore, but it's the, oh, men are less dramatic, women are a lot, a woman hurt yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think you also need to look within, Oguti, why do I, you want to be friends with people who are, who are going to agree to, with everything that you say, we are not going to call you out, we are not going to hold you accountable. Number, number two, I also think that people, let me say to me, before I found my self-worth, I didn't see the, the value of having in others. Okay. So I think it's easy to just be like, oh, women are trash, or women are this, or women are this. There are obviously situations where you are valid to say, by this friendship hurt yeah, me, yeah. Mm. but... There's a man who's hurt you before, but you're still able to give relationships a chance. Yeah. But you don't want to do that for friendships. Yeah. But I have to say, Nami, before I found my worth, I didn't care for friendships because I was not in a place where I could be a good friend. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And and even though I did not know at that time that I yeah. can't be a good friend, so I just saw, you know, when you're not okay with yourself, everything yeah. else is wrong. Yeah, you true. see wrong. Mm. You see the bad in everything. Mm -hmm. So until I got to a point where I was okay with myself. I mean, I have my friend, my only friend I've been friends with since high school is the only one. I had other friends, but that they fell off. And I always wonder, but how have you been able to remain my mm -hmm. friends even in times through, where... Through all of this. Through all of this. And I was not a good person. I was not a nice person. I was a judgmental person. I, was a, I saw so much bad in others. It's because I saw that bad in myself, but it was easier to project. So not to say every woman who don't believe in friendships is not okay with themselves, but I think it, you do need to also have a look within yeah. about... Yeah. Why do I have a problem with other women? Because mm. it can't always be them. And also, I mean, we, we think men are saints. Most of the time, we're just like... Oh, logic. No, there are these logic. Good logical people. gender. Yes. <laughs> logical gender. And until you find out... Logical gender. No, these people actually want to smash. 
Because that's how I, I can like stop. I, then, I took a step back. I'm, I'm uh, uh, guys, like these people, uh, uh. And then I got to see what to know. This one didn't want to be my friend. He actually he just wanted, wanted to be Yes, he wanted to be Because given, the, so, given any opportunity, they would. Yeah, because given. I mean, you they, think so? Yeah. You I, I've got male all, friends. All of them. I've all got male friends. I wouldn't say all. all I don't know. Them. I think no. out of all my male <laughs> friends. Oh, I was about to say out of all my male friends, there's one who wouldn't, but that's because we actually have. <laughs> now he wouldn't but <laughs> I mean he got, he got it what but um yeah, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> no but of all my male friends I know that because sometimes you hear the things they say yeah like the undertones of the things um, they say and I was just like I when not given a chance you you, you would, would. You let would. me just let's just let's do just it. <laughs> So, so can, can I ask, do you guys think that real, genuine, platonic male-female rela- uh, friendships don't exist? I think they exist, but we need to have had that conversation. Yes. It has to be a very... I have a, a friend of mine, he's a male friend, um, he's actually married, and we are still close till today. Mm, and that now that, that now that um, he's married, I've, I've started becoming friends with his wife, but he's my friend. Mm. And... If we had to sit down and have that conversation about no matter what, no matter <laughs> what, it will never happen. We are friends, and if you feel as if you think one day it might happen, let's end the Cut. friendship right now. today. Cut. And he was just like, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. We had like a disagreement about it, but we ended up, we're still close. Mm. But I think, I do think that platonic um, male and female relationships can exist, but I think those conversations need to be had. Must be had. Must be had. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, don't think on a drunk yes. night where now you might just be like, so girl. I guess because maybe I'm asking because um, of all the um, guy friends that I've had. First of all, I, I I cannot befriend a guy that I'm attracted to. I would. But that's the thing with them, right? They do you befriend you? you. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. So apart from that, without being attracted to you, and then they get to learn the kind of person that you are, and now you get to learn the per- kind of person that they are, and then we're now. But maybe that's where the boundary. What that, if you fall for your friend? Amanda, I don't see it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. I think it's a different love that I have for my friends who are who are guys, mm-hmm. and also I think an important. I mean, you mentioned the boundary. Um, it's a different love for me that I have for them. I do love them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Y'all know yourselves. Um, <laughs> but also, I think it's also very important that you mention now that with your friend who's married, you are also now, you know, friends with his wife. Mm. It's so important for me as a married person to, like, I don't, how do I say this? Um, to incorporate your friendships into your life. It's yeah. not a separate, mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. don't mm. touch mm. that side. Mm. Don't okay. talk because, yeah. Because you don't know Kiki. You don't know Yeah, Kiki. you don't know Kiki. They're not your friends. Yes. You don't have to know them. Yes, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, if my guy from, my guy friends can come to my house. Yes. They come to my yes. house, they sit there. My husband will be there. We'll all be yes. sitting together, whatever, you know. It, it's like so much so that if we are somewhere with girl and guy friends and my husband can't get hold of me, he will probably call the guy yeah, friend mm. before he calls the girlfriend. the girlfriend. You know? So, but like I said before, the onus is on you. you. To incorporate my friends into my full life. Yeah. My, my parents know my friends who yes. are guys. You know, my sisters know them, whatever. As soon as now there's a s- secret friendship. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem. Then uh, now it opens that gap. Okay, what if one day I took that to him? Anyway, no one knows what really showed me. So and also can. beside that, I remember with my ex, when I met him, he had female friends, mm-hmm. and I knew them, and he'd speak about them and he'd bring <coughs> them around. Then all of a sudden, three years into our relationship, I know, I know, I've got this new friend there. Mm. New friend there. Yeah. Can I meet her? But I never met her. So it's like, guys, six years later, we broke up, and I never met this level to check. And I was just like. These are the secret friendships mm. you are talking about yeah. now secret because friendship. you're just now letting me know about her so that if her name pops up on the phone, I, yes, don't, I, go I don't go crazy. Oh, I, I don't go crazy. I she's my friend, friend, but. Yeah. Yo! Yeah. Secret friendships! Secret friendships. Yeah. No secret friendships, you guys. Mm-hmm. No secret friendships. Even girls, guys. Yeah, for example, girls. we have. No, no, I, I mean, like, for example, we have 
different friendship groups. Yes. Yeah. All my my other friends know about you guys. Yes. You guys know about my my one best friend. My other friends that we book club together. Mm. All my friends know about each other. Mm. Also because like. It's important for my circles to know about yeah. each other. I don't have to have everyone in the same yeah, room. True. Unless it's like your birthday. Unless it's my birthday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unless, it's, your day, day. unless it's there's an event. Big yes. things, yes. Or I'm hosting something or whatever the case may be. But also this thing like, this person is, is my friend. No one knows that this person is my friend. No one. My sister. No one Nobody. knows. Nobody. No, this reminds me Forget of the boyfriend and the husband. Well, no one knows that you guys are friends. <laughs> now suddenly something happens. We are about Shalomuntu. Whatever, no, whatever. Blush, blush. But Uba, and then, yeah, then now people are just like, hmm? you, you live in a double life? You, you, are this, you know this person. You know? What ah, you know this ah. <laughs> Why did you have a secret friend? <laughs> what? Shut up. <laughs> And then guys, talk about, like, I feel like people don't talk about this enough. Well, I've seen a couple of videos where people talk about it. I've started talking about it now. And that's friendship breakups. Yeah. Like, friendship you. breakups are hectic. Like, I have a friendship breakup I'm still recovering from, from three years ago. Yo. Like, three years ago. Like, when is this thing going to get better, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like, for me, personally, I feel like... Friendship breakups are more painful than relationships, romantic relationships anyway. So, so we were talking about this earlier and I was saying, for me, I disagree because in my experience with romantic relationships, the people that have broken up with me, they just woke up and decided they didn't want to be with me anymore. And I was just like, what? 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 See, like, one guy I dated took me on a dinner date, we went oh. to the club, we had so much fun that night. Mm -hmm. Then at 2 o'clock, we, we got we got home at 2 o'clock. And then we passed out. Then at 4 o'clock, we woke up and he told me. <laughs> he, Actually. he told me about, you know what? This is over. Break up dates. I, I, just, no, I know someone who does break up dates. You. I didn't yeah. know that was a <laughs> I was just like, excuse me, what? I think it's so cruel. But it anyway. is cruel. But like in my experience, all the people I've dated, when they break up with me, mm -hmm. it's always like out of nowhere. But with friendship, and that for me rocks me because now I'm sitting here thinking, what happened? When mm. did when did we start going when? down? What did I miss? Why didn't I know that you were unhappy? You know all those things. But friendship breakups for me, by the time they happen, it's been a long time coming. Okay. Like I see them coming because with friendships, you know, either they start um, isolating themselves from you. Mm. Or the things that happened where by the time we break up, I'm like, oh, I saw this coming. I mean, it doesn't, so not to say it doesn't hurt, mm -hmm. but it doesn't I, rock me. I've never been rocked. For by. me, for me, even with romantic relationships, I always see it coming. I'm just like, you would, like for me, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if I pay too much attention when I'm in romantic relationships yeah. or what. I pay attention to the small little things. Mm. Like if you're going to, if you said baby yesterday and then today you're like, oh, nice. Then and, then then for you, if you, and then you hold me here, yeah, you're touching my hand. God, you usually hold me around mm. the waist. And for me, I'm just like calculating and it goes <gasps> back to what we were talking about yesterday about overthinking. Overthinking, yeah. Overthinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then I start putting these things together. I'm like, yeah, you have one of this one. It's going down. I'm just waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> just because he didn't call you baby today. Yes, and, and, and most of the time, I'm always right. right. I'm always right because then I'm going to find out who this person is cheating. And then I'm like, mm. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then the relationship ends. And then with friendship relationships, I don't know. Like for me, even though, for me, it's like we can always fix this. That's I think it. that's why they hurt me so much because I'm like, and also with 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 with, with uh, female friendships, like with friendships, friendship. Some friendships end over small things. My like last for me, it's like very small things. Can I tell you, my last female friendship breakup ended because this couch that you love so much, the couch that I now have. <laughs> every time a, um, a friend of mine, there's this other friend of mine who was who was there during the whole thing. Every time he comes over and it's just like, hey, come and clearly couch in here, the friendship. Hey. <laughs> The friendship couch. The friendship couch. But like she had this beautiful couch. Then I asked her, where did you get it from? I like it. And I tell her, well, I'm going to buy it. I like it. Maybe she thought I was joking. But then I went and bought the couch. Then she saw it in one of my stories on WhatsApp. And she sent me this very long, elaborative message about how I've always wanted her life. And oh. she finds that to be creepy. And, and I'm just like, over a couch. So for me, 
it didn't rock me because when our friendship had started to go down but it was the reason behind it i was just like i wish you would actually have said mm -hmm. i don't want to be friends with you anymore because of one two three yeah not true. because not don't gaslight me and make yeah. me feel as if me buying the same couch as you is reason to kill at that time i've been friends for 13 years no. it's reason to kill a 13 year friendship yes. by saying but uh, you're saying i've always wanted your life by no, she was just looking couch. for a reason she was mm -hmm. but my thing is it's okay to just be like you know what friend i don't think well we're not friends anymore but it's okay to say Hello. you know what mandy i don't think that our friendship is the same way you yeah, break up with a man yes, we've grown apart exactly i don't think our friendship is working out for me so i'd like to you know take a, a step back mm. i wish you all the best <laughs> take care <laughs> love and light love and light <laughs> i wish you well i, I wish you well future. in your future endeavors <laughs> So my little message here, HR, but now I'm every time literally I'm sitting here thinking, what what happened? What could, you know, when you could have just yeah. told me. It didn't rock me, mm. but it did take me by surprise. Mm. But for me, like the reason why I say Uguti, my friendship, well, my the one from like three years ago rocked me, is because when you are fine with someone, mm. right? And out of the blue they just yeah. they just wake up and one day they're like i don't want to be friends with you and they don't even tell you you just see when that the action oh. you know what yeah you know what i, I no, recently i recently heard and i recently saw i have a friend also who woke up and just decided to stop mm. talking to me and then i saw no. was it a therapist i think of the therapist on tiktok saying that sometimes when you've been friends with someone for a long time you remind me of a time that i don't want to be like when it remind me of a, a person that I was. Why am I in it? I'm sorry. You are collateral damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> At that time, maybe something happened and okay. you just remind me of this of person that, that I don't want to be anymore. But instead of communicating and saying, you know what, friend, I just don't want this anymore, they stop talking but to But that's me. the thing. I mean, because if I remind you of a time you don't want to remember anymore, do you understand the fact that you just deciding, or would say, I don't want to be friends with this person anymore, means that I'm always going to question myself i'm yes. always going to be like what did i do but they're, not, I thinking do? Do? they're, yes, they're not thinking about you yes they're not thinking about you they're only thinking I about guess. themselves and you know sometimes people rebrand right mm. ah! sometimes people rebrand and you don't align you don't, don't align the like brand anymore <laughs> With their brand anymore, but because when Kurama pumps, brand alignment because when I'm pumps, but but more more important than that is that once a, someone is rebranding, mm -hmm. you know the real them. Yes. Okay. So that can also come from, you know what you're saying, of like they wake Remind. up and they don't want to be friends with because mm. you remind them of, of the yes. time. Besides yeah. reminding me, you know the real me. You know, and I don't want, that's not who I, I want to be. And that's not who I want to be yeah. anymore. But instead of looking at it like I've grown, I've changed, they like, yeah, are looking yeah. at it like I want to cut off that part of yes. my life completely. Mm, and you are from that era. So sometimes I think it's also important, Rona, as as as, as the receivers. As the receiver. <laughs> sometimes you must free yourself, guys. Yeah, of yeah. the burden. We take so yo. much responsibility. Yo, for a guys, lot of responsibility. When I was growing up, my mother, yo, she, mama, mama, you must watch this video, please. <laughs> my mother will be so she will have tears in her eyes hearing me talk about this. Mm -hmm. I was so friend centric growing up. Mm -hmm. My friends were everything. Mm -hmm. I would do anything for friends. I would get into trouble for mm -hmm. friends. I would, you know, give my friends my clothes. This is I'm talking about this is in school, yeah. high school, mm -hmm. you know. If if there was an altercation or someone said something to me or they were sitting in a group and I came back from the tuck shop and then they were laughing, was like, my world is shattered. Mm -hmm. I was shattered. Like friendships were so important to me that I had no life outside, outside of them. And and it bothered my mother, it bothered my family so mm -hmm. much because they're like you are the friend that people should want to be yeah. your friend like you are a great person and if someone doesn't want to be your friend it's They're not lost. you yeah. you know it's not you and it took me many 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 years um to accept that i always thought that i needed to be part of a crew part yeah. of a group that's already established because they are you know cool and they are already friends with each other and whatever and I never used to see myself as, you know what, I'm actually, I'm a good friend. Yeah. And anyone who's friends with me is actually blessed. You are lucky. privileged. <laughs> you are blessed, son, to be my friend mm. because I'm that person. But I'm telling you, it was, it was a big problem. It was a big, big deal. So now, being a grown-ass woman um, and really just, just coming into my character and accepting who I am, it's made me a lot more assertive in my friendships. Mm. I, was, I was not that person. Oh, yeah, I was pleaser. 
I would even say worse than that. Like, I, I feel growing up, I was abused in friendships. Okay. In that, I was the, I'm, I'm sorry, if anything happens, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, make it that Zela, just to keep a friend, mm. you know? And, and I think growing up from that has made me so much more assertive in my friendships. Like, actually, yes, we are, we're having a disagreement right now. And maybe my approach or how I said something um, upset you. But what I said, like, I said what I said. I meant you know? what I said. Like, yes, we can grow from how we are talking, our tone, our approach, whatever. But I can go to a friend and, I mean, and say, you know what? What you said didn't sit well with me. Yeah. And I know you didn't mean it with malice. But maybe just be cognizant of how you talk to people. Mm. You know, I can, I could never, I could never confront. And you, you, you don't believe me now because of how, how you know me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, not, not the same person. I oh, could man. never confront a friend who upset me. I could never confront a friend who humiliated me, even publicly. I could, I could never. I would just be like, yes, I deserve. I am, mm. I am, I am the chippies underneath your shoe. Mm. I was that person. So, Jay, when people rebrand, they remind you remind them of who they were. And they don't want to be that person anymore. So, cut, 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 cut. I don't want to be sitting here also, as a new re as a, 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 a rebrand <laughs> and then you reminding me about, about high school stories. Excuse me. Well, I'm not that person anymore. Mm -hmm. Mara, yes. also, we're talking about friendship breakups, but I want to ask you guys now, because it's something that I, you guys do my, my last friendship breakup, and I'm just like, yo, I can't even think of, like, like anything recent in the mm. past 10 years mm. and i think for me it's because it, it doesn't feel like a friendship breakup but there are friendships that i have walked away from yeah and maybe i don't regard those as a friendship breakup yeah i was just like actually it was over and then i walked away there was no discussion there was no hey i'm not your friend anymore i'm not your best friend <laughs> you know how papi says i'm not I'm your not best your friend, friend. <laughs> When your babies tell you they were they yeah, no, friends but anymore. But our, our kids will do. Mil Milani stands in those steps and she says, Manda, I'm not, I'm not your, your friend. Yes. And they all say that. Yeah, I'm not your best friend. Mama, I'm not your best friend. And he's angry. There was no conversation, but like, there, there are friendships where I've just made the decision that, you know what? Walk away. This is not, this is not healthy. Mm. And it's, it's not even about this is not serving me because I, I'm such a giver in my friendships. Yeah. I don't really look for someone who is going to serve me, but I'm just, this, this is not I'm healthy. I'm serve you. This is not healthy, and, and I'm going to walk away from You know, it. now that you say that, I just, it just hit me that I've never formally broken up with a friend. I've always just walked away. I just, you know, I, and now that I think I'm, I am that friend who just decides to wake up and catch contact. You're the drama. Do that to me because I know where you stay. <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> and it's not even a rebrand thing. It's just that sometimes I don't feel like a conversation. It's it's this is worth a conversation because mm. even if we talk, like Onati was saying earlier, about we can fix this. For me, nothing's gonna. But fix I guess this. we we all get to a point where in a friendship where you're like, you, you know what, that point. nothing is going to fix, fix this. this. Yeah. Let's just leave it, and then you walk away. But sometimes when the friendship ends, you like. We could have fixed this. Like it was, yes. Because you're yes. looking at it from your side, from your perspective, you're like, it's so small. Mm. It's so small. Like we could have, and then. But have you guys time. ever had a friendship where you fought? Fought how physically? No, not physically. Oh. Well, maybe physically as well. <laughs> but <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, do you have a situation where a friendship ended after like Liloui and then you have a fuck fuck? You know. Okay. I've never. I've also never. It's never been. So clearly you have. <laughs> <laughs> pull up, been. bitch. Pull up. <laughs> no, no. But I mean, um, I've always wondered, like, is there not a sadness attached to, like, Unati talks about um, forgiveness mm. a lot in friendships. Yeah. And I think if you get to a point where you are fighting and you decide actually this is not worth it, with again, omong lomong as we saw. Um. Is there not like a, a point where you sit, well, I guess that's not, the question doesn't apply because you all have never experienced it, but like, is there not a point where you're sitting and you're just like, yo, like you say, this, this could have been, this could have been. I fixed. think for me, what would bother me about that is that our last memory together ah, is a yes. fight. Mm. 
Mm. Yes, we're not friends anymore. I'm not cool with you anymore. But like, even with the friendships I've walked away from, like sometimes when I see them on Instagram, I smile because you're just mm. like, oh, you are a good person. It's just mm. that maybe something happened that didn't sit right with me, and I didn't, I wasn't mature enough to address mm. it with you. It was easier to walk away. But if we actually fought, that's the last. Like the friend I'm telling you about my couch. We were friends for 13 years. We had amazing times, but I don't remember any of them. All I remember is you saying, you don't want to be friends with me anymore because of a couch. Mm. So I think for me, if we actually fought, then that's our last me That's the last memory I have of you, and that's sad. Mm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Fuck, fuck. Hey! <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> I feel like you asked that question because you have an experience of and the also, fuck, fuck, fuck situation. And also, are you able to come back from that if you because I, I can i can imagine with the fight things are said words are used mm. um swear words are used like the other time we were watching something and there was a fight and then this person says to is it a friend or he said oh, i think it was a sister because i was with my sister when it happened and this person says well fuck you and i look at my sister i'm just like if you ever said fuck you to me i'd probably cry <laughs> like <laughs> Because also you've never said it before. And also we don't speak like that. We yeah, don't fight like that. Not our, but during a fight, fight, maybe during a fight. Fighting with love. How do you, also fighting, fighting styles. But then that means if I fight with love, it means I want to make this work. Mm. If I say fuck, fuck, you must. Guys, if I ever say fuck you to any of you in a heated moment, just know we're done. Because how do you like come back? Because how do you come back from and that? When it comes out of yeah. your mouth, it's, it's so painful. Ah, uh, no. Tony, and fuck. <laughs> and fuck, please, girl, girl, you want to cook on my toilet. No, you want your friend. Ask it. And fuck. So, for, so my question is for you, Tato, as someone who's experienced that. Do you think that you would be able to come back from exchanging harsh words and, yeah. and a, a fight with someone that you cared about? Because sometimes when you exchange ha harsh words, you even say things mm. and mm. you feel like, is this what you've thought about me this mm. entire yes. time? Yes. Mm. You know? That's why able to come back nah, from that. Personally, when, I, when I'm fighting with my friends, I, I don't say a lot. Mm. Mm. Especially in the heat okay, of the moment, yes. I don't say a lot. I will keep quiet. Because I'm running away from saying things that I don't mean. Yeah. First of all, mm, and things that angry. yes, and things that are going to be damaging to our friendship. Yes. Because now, because I'm an overthinker, I'm thinking good to if I say this to this person, they'll probably think I've been thinking this about. That's them. what I would all, think. That's exactly what I mean. this entire time. But oh, that's so, how you feel. Yeah. Okay. So I don't. I try not to get myself in a situation where, if we are having an altercation, then I'm just like. That's why your mama left you. <gasps> exactly. <gasps> hmm. Your mama don't even want you. You know? You know? That's why that so man cheated on you. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm just like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think... Can you come back? Can you come back from that? <laughs> I think you can try. I've never... I think things will never <laughs> be the <laughs> same again. So now why are we friends if... It's... So what's the point now? If you're saying it will never be the same again, why, what are we doing? What are we doing? Not the same in that there can be apologies, there can be, you know, all of that. Like, I, I, didn't, the I, didn't, was going I, to shift. I didn't mean what I said, I was trying to hurt you, but it, it really has to come from a genuine place. Mm -hmm. um, but also, you can't take words back. That's but if, what if you think about it, like, actually, I meant it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then we can never be friends. You meant it. You meant it. That's why your mama left you. That's why that man gave you an STD. No, but you. Oh. <laughs> No, ma'am. No. No, but, 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 um, I hit below the belt. I, I, I don't like it when people do I that. Never, I never, really please remind me not to ever I fight with, with Mandy, please. Do you also I hit mean, below the belt? My heart can't. Oh, you won't take it. <laughs> no, no, no. I've never, I, I, you see, now that I think about it, going mm -hmm. back to, I value female friendships more. I've never, I don't do that with friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. But with men. Ha! <laughs> Every trauma you've ever told ah! go lower, go lower, go lower. It's all about my Now we know. I, I want to be now. This is men. the reason I go why. Sure, with friends I don't. Now we I know. think. <laughs> I think that I could never forgive myself for saying mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. to a friend. So never mind them forgiving me. I will never forgive myself. I'll never be okay with my, the fact that I used your pain against yeah. you in a fight. Mm -hmm. But with men. Any, any day, I'm ready. <laughs> Don't tell me about your your childhood trauma. Man. But who told me? If you're ah! dating me, you are horrible. You are horrible. No, but I have. That's not right. 
it's okay. They'll be I fine. haven't like I can't think of like having like a, a very. I mean, yes, we fight as friends yeah. all the time. Um, but I think I really value the maturity of all of my friendships in that, like Unati says, like taking a moment to pause before you address something. Mm -hmm. Um, addressing it in a different setting, um, addressing things when your emotions are a little bit more, you know, moya pansy, um, very, very key. Yes, things can be said and, and you know, in the, in, in the heat of the moment, but it also does require that maturity and that understanding to know that, like, this is not who you are. Mm. This is not who you are. Like, for me, if I got into a fight with one of my close friends and they were vile towards me, I... I would Elisa myself very quickly because I would be now worried what, what is going on. I love you? that, Tato. Mm. I love that. You know how a lot of people, let's say how we've been friends and then one day I, I do something or I say something that hurts you, then people will say things like, oh, your true colors are showing up, no, coming out. No. And I'm just like, why is it not my true colors when I'm loving and when I'm yes. kind? And then now I say one thing. For me, it's absolutely And I love opposite. that for you when you say, I bring say, myself actually, down very quickly because yes. this is my mind. Yes. What's going on? In my mind, I said, this is not, this yeah. is not, it's not the person mm. I know. This yeah. is not, I love that. Mm. Yeah. And so then, I will want to end this thing. Yes, maybe you are wrong or I'm wrong or we're both wrong. I will want to end it. It doesn't have to end in an apology. It's like, let's just not talk about this right yes. now. But at another time, I will definitely want to come to you and say, you know what? Remember that fight that we had? That's not how you talk. Mm. Not you mm. me anyway. Okay. What's, going, What's on? going on? You know, that will be my first... Yeah. My first thought won't be yes, the person, exactly. Yeah. That's the that other thing. But I also, even though in the it. end it turns out you are a muloy. Ah. <laughs> that's why you've been feeling about me the entire time. I will have given you the benefit of yes. the doubt. Yes. Mm, that's okay. the thing. I get. You know, but I'm just saying. I actually resonate with it yes. because I'm just like, like if something happens, I'm like, hi man. Mm. I know my friend didn't mean it like this. I know she didn't mean it like this. Yes, I'm. But yes. at the same time. I'm hurt yes. and I need to bring it to her attention yes. even though I know she didn't mean it like mm. that. And it doesn't have to be right now. Yeah, I think the mistake that we make, yes. uh, uh, the biggest mistake that we make is wanting to address things yes. when it's still hot. It's okay for things to cool. I want her now. Give me now, I want her now. Yes, I know you. For now! I know. No. I don't know. know we gonna address it two weeks later. No, mm -mm. I'm not heated anymore. I don't care. I'm two weeks later. It's okay for the fall. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then we're gonna sit now and talk about yes. it because. So what happens during the cool of time? Are we okay? Are we? You get your thoughts. But like, do we talk? I care it about you, so I'm going it's to up take to you. Them. I need to. We we know what we're going to sit and have a conversation. I care about you. I love you. As Let's have friend. the conversation so now. We are going to. <laughs> so mature I can't, I can't come now like if we have to beat each other up to get it out of the way come now because now what happens in the two weeks if I'm used to talking no, no, to no. you every day no, but one day cooling off what happens no the cooler off or do I talk to you if you want to if you want to but do you remember the time when we were talking about that YouTube thing you and I yes yes do you remember I waited a couple of days before I came to you and yes. I was like ah Chomza you know I waited a couple of days because I'm like I know that's not how she meant it, yeah. but at the same time, if he get this way to yeah. me, mm. so I need to make her away, Oguti, this is how I received what she was saying, mm. as much as I know that's not how she meant it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, at the minute I feel it, you go, know it, I'm not the only one spoiling up here, so I guess that's spoiling, like, you made me feel this way, you will know this, my delivery will always try to be kind, mm -hmm. but <laughs> you will know sometimes. Please do two days of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got a couple of friendship questions, and now these questions are surrounded around, they're centered around our friendship. Right? Us. Yes, our friendship. Okay. We are friends, are we not? I'm quite sure. And the question, first question is, what about, what about our friendship is important to you? Take a second to think. Take a second. Ding! 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 Um, um <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that we are in sync. Yes, <laughs> man. Okay, okay, please. you go. <laughs> come on, guys. You come go. On. Tight. Um, for me, relatability very, very important. Our kids are the same age, mm -hmm. um, which is what you know drew us together. 
um, and we kind of then realized that we, we actually like each other. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Besides the fact that our kids, you know, are the same age and they play together, we actually kind of like each other. Um, I also like the fact that our friendship isn't, um, should I say high maintenance? Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Purely because, like, we are moms, we are busy, we are mm. career women, we are in relationships, we are all of those things, and it's not a heavy friendship, if mm. I can say that. Um, when we're together, we're together, and mm. it's hot. Hey, guys, if you see what happens yeah. on Instagram, you know, <laughs> <laughs> when we are together. <laughs> but we can go two months without seeing each other, mm. you know? Yeah. And it's so, okay. Mm. Like, it's... We don't, we don't come back together and we're feeling a certain type of way about yes. it. It doesn't shift. Yes. The energy doesn't shift. It stays the same. So I really appreciate, especially um, <clears throat> for me right now, when I've got so much going on in my life, I appreciate a, a low-maintenance friendship. Um, I know that if I reach out to you guys and I say, guys, I'm struggling with one, two, three, according to your capacity at the time, you will plug holes where I need you, mm. if you can. But... I don't feel like, oh my goodness, I haven't spoken to Unati today. I haven't messaged oh Mandy. Oh my God, yes. yeah, I get that. Exactly. Yeah. For example, I was watching on Mandy's channel and she said, you know, this week was a tough week and I never reached out to her mm. or whatever. Like, it's, it's okay. And that's what I really appreciate about us, the relativity and the, the low maintenance. For me, I've never been in a group friendship, even like in high school <clears> or whatever. <throat> this is my first group friendship. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I was, I've always been nervous as to... How? Because I've seen group friendships and the clicks and how, how click it gets and stuff. So at first I was very nervous about uh, the group friendship, but then the more time went, I'm like, okay, cool, I can do this. And I think because of the respect, the respect we have for each other. And also, um, I've got other friends and stuff uh, who hold me accountable, but I feel like, yeah, I'm, I've been like held Ooh. accountable the most. <laughs> Every day. Even when I feel like I'm not wrong. I'm right. I'm never wrong. No. I'm right. I'm always right. <laughs> She's always part of the problem. <laughs> she is the problem. <laughs> so it's just that. It's the respectability and what Tata is saying. But the, we, there's no expectations mm. as to be like, oh, I was not okay. I need you to not reach mm. out to me. Mm. If I don't put it on the group, yeah, it's if a, I didn't tell you I didn't directly, tell you directly. Mm. and I think Naga, I've always been that person as we were talking about this. If you don't tell me, I don't know. Mm. The same Nami, you guys might see something on YouTube and I say I had a hectic week, but if I didn't tell you, you I don't expect you. Yes, yeah, yeah. so don't, don't stress about it. Like, mm. also, it clearly was not that hectic mm. if I didn't mm. reach out mm. to my friends. So mm. I love also the what did you call it? Low, low maintenance. maintenance, yes, low maintenance. For me, it's the softness. Oh, for me, oh. like, I feel like it's soft, man. It's we are yes, we're friends in a group, but I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Like it's soft. She's gonna like, cry. Like if you guys, it's soft life in friendship though. This is it. it's this is soft. Life. It is though. Because yes, That's true. it is. Because and also for me, I appreciate the fact that I know I can be vulnerable with my friends. Mm. I don't have to worry or be scared. I know. Or but, pretend. Yes. Mm. I know if any of them said anything that I don't like, I can come back to them and be like, ma'am, <laughs> are you, why are you shady? You know, mm. I can come back and I know Uti, I will not be met, met with, with someone like I will defense. not, yes, I will not be met with defense. I know Uti, the person I'm speaking to will accept and will receive mm. what I am saying, mm. and then it won't be a big deal. It won't like, be okay thing. after that. We're okay, yeah. like after ironing whatever out, we're okay, and also even before ironing whatever oh. out, we are still okay so, because I know that I love this person. I'm not okay, and that's what I was saying about I need to address it now. And when I'm listening to you speaking, it's like, yeah, okay, we we okay afterwards. I think oh, that's me. why I rush mm. to address things because you I want, want to be okay. okay. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but but nah, I'm very against the rushing of Me the, but, too. but, but even in the rushing of confronting things, I've I'm still not like I've confronted um Unati after the friend mask thing. Yeah. Oh, Unati yeah. put up a vlog and she gave you guys your flowers and she didn't give me my flowers. She was mad. She was mad. You were I such had a, to you do a, a video. You are such a this, you are such a this. And then the other one is such a this, such a this, me, oh, you've had a, such a horrible year, you're a strong black woman. No, she didn't even say I'm a strong black woman. You've had such a horrible Who go? You feel him go? And I was just like, she was me. like, Nem. Excuse me. I 
couldn't wait. The nah. I minute mean, I saw that vlog, nah, I was I like, she came. And I'm like, but yeah, my, yeah, deliver, my delivery, my uh, delivery was not mm, good. So yeah. as much as I want yeah, to address yeah, things yeah, same yeah, time, yeah. the delivery will never. Come. There's a new thing I love about us now because it's the first time I'm hearing about this. I also love that like it's not a group thing. No, yeah. you had a problem with yes. Kunai. I addressed you addressed it with her. Yes. Now it's not like the group is falling apart. No. But, hey, you, never know. you would have never known. I didn't even know. Yeah. A new thing I love about us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in what ways do you feel supported in our friendship? Ma'am. I think that um, in this friendship, I've been supported the most. I don't know, like, not to say I'm the Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. But I think that y'all have shown me support. Obviously, with Unati, it's different because we were friends before, but yeah. like with you, Tato. I also, you all, you all have shown me support for a stranger. We were strangers mm -hmm. in the beginning. And I would say that I would call like this or say something and y'all come together for me. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe because obviously in the group for the longest time, I've been going through the most openly, mm -hmm. openly going through the most. So I know for sure that if ever I needed, whether it's a soft landing, whether it's a, a, a I just want to vent or whether I just want to, whatever it is, I always feel extremely supported and I never feel like it's dragged. And I never feel like you don't, I don't I never feel like you are taking time. Y'all never make me feel like you're like taking time away from your hectic day yeah. to cater to my needs yeah. and my problems and my children and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I, and I spoke about this in my um, video that I, I uploaded this week. Um, I feel supported in that I have a community. Yeah. I spoke a lot about yeah. joining a community or creating your own community. Um, I have a space outside of my family where I can say, Yo! Banabati! You know? You know? And I don't have to, and I said this, I don't have to start with a disclaimer of, I love, I love my, my kids, kids. No. but, you know? I don't have to. I can be so free. Um, so, and yo. That is so important. So in that, and also there's there's so much power in the shared experience, mm. yeah. um, which is why support groups work so well, mm. just in general, because being able to connect with people who have similar experiences or a similar you know situation. That's why like having friends who have kids around the same age as you. You are going through that. Guys, remember when we started potty training, all of us. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Like, we were all going through the most. When we were weaning from breastfeeding, when we started solids, we were just like, guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know? <laughs> and it's nice to have people that you can, you can do that with. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's, the, it's, the it's my little circle. It's my little mm. community that I have. Mm. That I have other friends and I have family members, but I don't connect with them in the same way. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I connect with the scrunch. Mm. That's why. That, that, is why, how, that is why. That how is why. You feel like you are being yes, supported. Yes. I your existence, G. Oh. The quality, but I, can't see but I can't see my face as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not just me. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> She asked okay. questions and now she's like, I need to, I was like, okay, and then I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, um, okay, I will start with Mandy. And I always tell her this, Umendi, um, I love the fact that Umendi will never make you feel like you're being judged. Yeah. Like... You can tell her the most no matter what thing <laughs> in the whole world, she will never make you feel like you're being judged. So I feel like that's like my favorite, favorite thing that I love about her is that she is a safe space. So if you look at, like if 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 good dictionary about safe space, what is safe space? Maybe they would have Igama like <laughs> because she is a safe space. Uti, you can talk to her about anything. Like, yo, guys. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> so Not I for this conversation. You, my friend. I love that you you are, and I know you're not just a safe space for me, you're a safe space for other people as well. They feel like they can tell you any, like, I don't know, man. In my to call and Jay, it's something I go by that makes you want to sit 
and she will like you know sometimes abanyabantu they'll say they're not judging you but you but can see you can see you are ah let me stop talking <laughs> with women it's like you won't see if you are judge like in her heart <laughs> that's something that's else on me but <laughs> You will never see Epstein back or what she's judging you. She will always just be like, you know what? And she also listens. That's mm. the other thing. That's the second thing. She listens. She's a very good listener. You are a very good listener. Thank you me. sit and you listen, you know, and you, like, you don't interject when someone is talking and they're trying to, you know, explain or whatever is going on in their lives. When you get, oh, I go in my life. You know, you don't do those things. You listen to what people are going through and you 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 have this thing which you know when to give advice that's the other thing you know when to give advice and you know when to just listen like to sit and listen to the person and without judgment or whatever so okay. i love that about you, Aww. you. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's you <laughs> what title guys uh I used to think Uguti, I'm soft. <laughs> I used to think Uguti, that is still my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I used you to can think, also say it. I used to think I'm a soft person when it comes to my friends and whatever. Like if you think you are soft, you haven't met. No, you soft. haven't. Utato, like in the middle of <laughs> she is here. And like if voice like is here and also with the things like she's very kind. Like she says very kind things to people as mm. well. Mm. To me. She's kind to mm. me. And I don't think she's just kind to me. I think she's just generally a kind person. And also, I mean you can see when she's interacting with other people mm. who would high man. Like even people that she doesn't know, like you'd meet uh I won't say Babi Sia Pizola, but <laughs> 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 like even when she was interacting with people with other people like you see those things they shine or would say no man this person is actually a really kind person like Otado has a very kind heart and she is a giving person uh, sorry Mandy <laughs> <laughs> she is a giving person and sometimes it not it's not just materials like, you know, people will mm, give mm, of their time. Mm. So she will give of their time. And I love the fact that when she is not, like, in the right space to show up for you as a friend, then she will let you know. So she's not going to just sit there and be like, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. At the, like, at Kotwa, she's not, like, she's not okay or she's not really listening to you. She'll tell you, a friend, I'm not in a position to receive what yeah. you are telling me right now. Yeah, well. So I love that she's also honest about how she feels and she doesn't let you as... Because she doesn't want to shortchange you as a friend. Mm. Because now you're sitting with someone and you're telling them, oh, what we are going, she are going to go to... And you but think they half listen, they, yes, but they're they're not. They're not. Yeah. yeah, so when she's in the moment, she's fully there. And I really appreciate that about you, my friend. I love it. I love it so much. You are marshmallow. Oh, <laughs> funny you say that. You know, people say I'm very strict and they say I've got a resting bitch face. No, I, well, maybe I, you do I, have a resting I bitch face. Think, but... I don't think you have a resting <laughs> bitch face, but I do think that you are strict. I but two, what was it? Two, two truths can exist. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. you are. You are strict, and you're also kind and very, very soft. Very soft. <laughs> it was very, very soft. So yeah, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Here I go. Okay. The other day I was watching Unati's, one of Unati's videos and she was, I don't remember what vlog it was, but she was talking about, there was a, it was a birthday vlog or the vlog before your birthday, but I think you were reflecting and you were talking about there was a time where you almost died and stuff like that. And it actually hit me that, um, Unati, and I remember telling Lucia about this, this other friend of mine, Uguti, you forget that Unati also goes through things the way she's always so forthcoming and so willing mm. to show up. Um, about like when I watched that video, I didn't call. I don't know why, but I literally wanted to be like, I'm just thinking about you. If you need anything, I'm here because I feel like I'm always, you know, I'm always going through things. I'm always going through things, and I forget that you are human and you go through things and you show up even when you are in the midst of your own sadness. And I don't know if that's a beautiful trait <laughs> or a toxic trait. Maybe that's something you need to talk to your therapist about. <laughs> I don't know if it's a beautiful <laughs> trait, 
but it's something that made me realize what he, I forget, I honestly always, the way Unati will rush to your rescue, mm. I forget to go Anytime. Anytime. Like, it doesn't matter. I, I forget to go to you. I'm a now who won't be a coach. <laughs> and Literally. I'm not the kind of person that I am. I am a, if you don't tell me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I think then, I, 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 watching that vlog, I realized that I need to start reaching out more because I can't wait for my friends to tell me that I'm not okay, I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. And literally, now, if we don't tell, like, guys, <laughs> if I won't jail we know. Us. <laughs> so. We know. Add one more day. In therapy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's oh, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> it's okay, friends. Okay, don't stress about it. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> <they should. laughs> so, I think for me, that's the one thing I do love about you. But no matter I speak, the woman just like, mm, is that an amazing trait? Because it means you get to shortchange yourself. Mm. There's never a time I've called to Nancy and she wasn't available for me. Mm. And well, it, I love it because it's selfish. It works for my favor. <laughs> it works for you. It works for me. But, but then you wonder. Actually, you know, mm. Now I'm sitting here wondering, but is my friend okay? Like, I'm just. Mm chewed her ear out for an hour about my little problems but is she okay mm -hmm. you know and so true yeah and Tato and I are probably like polar opposites polar opposites <laughs> <laughs> we left we leave we leave bye <laughs> we live completely different lives but I can talk to her about anything you are such a safe land, like a you like a what you're saying. You soft, mm. like you have the soft landing. I can, I can, I call Tato to complain about my teenager, and Tato doesn't have a teenager. <laughs> 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 and going back to what she was saying, which is she can call and she doesn't have to have a disclaimer or to, oh mm. I love my kids, but mm. you also offer the same, yes. like you offer so a safe space where I can go off about anything, any absolutely anything, and I hate that. I had such a pre misconceived um, judgment about you before we met. I've told her this stuff. Oh, I told yes. her. I told her. <laughs> Wait, she put it in one of her videos, guys. But in the video yes. where we met, I was just like, yeah, I'm meeting these girls. Ash, but one of them is married. <laughs> you, guys know, you guys know how married women are. <laughs> she was talking about me. I was talking about her. I was like, oh, you guys know how married women are. <laughs> yeah. But um, I can literally talk to Tato about anything without her putting anything on me like I don't know how to explain it but like mm. earlier this morning I'm not, not gonna say it on camera but what we are speaking about earlier this morning is that even though you are on the side of the person I was complaining about well in life you are still able to see my side mm. and my pain and mm. and and without being like well I'm a wife mm. and mm. you know um so that's the thing but we live completely separate lives but I know I can I, we don't relate, like our lives don't relate, but I know, I, I don't know in a way I relate. To, I can talk to you about anything mm -hmm. and I, you, you offer such a soft landing yeah. for me every time that we, I always feel lighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And both of you, whenever I speak to either of you, I always feel lighter after the conversation. You may not give me any advice. <laughs> I, I may not leave the conversation don't with, have a, to do a with a solution, but I do leave, leave the, I always leave our conversations feeling yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I love that. Yo, is it my turn? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go through this without tears, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Mandy. Yo, guys. Mandy, yo. Um, my favorite thing about you is that you are like the destroyer of self-doubt. Yes. Like, mm. I can be doubtful of myself about many things, even some things, areas of my life that maybe experiences that you've never experienced. But if I'm talking to her about a situation and she senses that I've got an imposter, you know, syndrome, nyana, or I've got a self doubt, if she crushes it immediately. Mm. She's just like, uh, uh Just do it, babe. No, just, just do, do, it. It. Do, it. Do, do it. Do it. Do it now. Babe. Just do, do it, it now. Just start. Do it this way. Start it like this, and then do this, and then do this. Um, 
I mean, YouTube, I mean, mm. for me to even start on YouTube, I had the biggest imposter, I had the biggest self-doubt about, you know, whether this is even a platform for me, whatever. But even YouTube aside, because that's something she got experience in, so mm. obviously she'd be able to say, ah, do this, do this, mm. do this. But even in life experiences that she hasn't, she hasn't encountered herself, once she sees that yeah. you are doubting yourself mm. about anything, she'll quickly say, ah, come here. Yeah. Come here. Why are you wearing such a big whoops thing? Do you know what an amazing body you have? Huh? Huh? Hi, man. Wear something tight, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like she will crush whatever self doubt yes. that you have. And it's such an amazing yeah. thing that you do because I, I can't see outside of that. And sometimes I'm just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I can't, I, ca I can't see myself in the light that you see my, you see, see. me. Mm. And sometimes that's what you need as a friend. Yeah. And you are very quick to say, stop your nonsense. Mm -hmm. Do this, do this, do this. So you are the self-doubt destroyer. <laughs> <Agreed>. Completely <laughs> about everything. Agreed. Hey, this girl. <laughs> um, Unati. Oh. Yo. <laughs> Unati, guys. She's the type of person who, okay, what, what I love about you, maybe you're not the type of person, but you are that to me. <laughs> My true colors, maybe. Yeah, yeah. true colors. <laughs> true colors, <laughs> Unati. Um, Unati is, is, I mean, we, we speak very openly about how she shows up. She shows up for her friends, all her friends. I'm sure you guys who are her friends in real life will you know, know that, that she, she generally shows up for people. But my favorite part about that in particular is you're showing up where I didn't even know that I needed you. Mm. It's very easy to say, yo, I need something, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing this, and then you be like, okay, I'll be there, I'll come, you whatever. Yes, it's very easy to do that. Mm. Like Mandy says, I don't, if you don't tell me, I don't know. Unati, <laughs> without telling her, she knows. Or even if you tell her I'm fine, or whatever the case may be, she's just like, <laughs> can <Can't> it? <laughs> and she'll mm. do something for you that you didn't even know that you needed. Mm. And a lot of the times when she's done things for me, I completely fall apart. Like I break down because I am holding it in while I thought I was holding it in. And Unati will come and she'll, she'll crack that barrier. She'll just be like, <laughs> and it'll go <laughs> like literally. So the way you show up for me in moments where I didn't even think I needed it is yeah is my favorite thing about you so don't lose that and don't lose that because i love you guys <laughs> you bored gesana it ended in two <laughs> years <laughs> i'm the biggest crappy love i'm the cancer i should be crying but look at them <laughs> where are my salts here where are the salts that were here give them here <laughs> okay we're so closing cool. Okay. Yeah. 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 So much more do you need socks to cover this video? What if I need solid? What's going on? This is supposed to symbolize something. <laughs> Shh. Okay, we must okay. listen. Please, it's not your video. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm okay. gonna keep quiet. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this ended in tears, it you did. guys, and. It probably was not supposed to end in tears. So when I was thinking about making this video, I had an idea, but it was late. The idea was late, right? Um, so I'll give them salt. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea was late, so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna have to find something, and this is like the only thing I could find in there. <laughs> must throws, that also throws there. No. Okay, so I'm okay. giving you guys salt. So I am giving. Oh, the idea behind this is is I'm passing the phone to. Oh. Because <laughs> oh. I'm like, what are we doing now? What does salt symbolize? Nothing really. <laughs> I am passing the salt. To someone who is selfless. Oh yes, yes. Someone who is kind. Mm -hmm. yes. Please stop. Someone who is an amazing mother, an amazing daughter, and amazing friend. Uh. She sometimes thinks that she's not doing great mm. in all aspects of her life, 
But today, I want to say you're doing amazing. Oh, sweetie. You're doing great. And we haven't seen nothing. We haven't seen nothing yet. Your life is about to blossom. God is going to bless you. And in all the areas where you feel like you are lacking, God will make sure that you get more. <laughs> Double, double, eh, a double, double. Eh, double. <laughs> Love you. Girl, it's why I I'm still in the salt. Well, she is experiencing salt. <gasps> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> you? Oh, your person is strong. Because then she doesn't have salt. I don't know, I'm not sure. Also, let me just <laughs> changed my mind. <laughs> and I am passing the salts to someone. <laughs> you know what? Umendi is the only person who was forthcoming about, you know, not being sure about you. <laughs> what? You're also not sure? I wasn't sure. Like, in this, I wasn't sure. I'm just like... I see you, because she's a nice person. Like, I see her, and we we used to chat yes, every now and but... then, then. But then I was like, I don't know how this is going to work, but I mean, it is going to work, you know? So, and it's been working. And it's been working. So I am passing the salts to someone who is loving. Tato is very loving. Someone who is very kind. Someone who is very soft-spoken. Someone mm. who is intentional about their parenting. Someone who... Yo, oh, Tato guys will spam you, but girl, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> and also someone who... Even though she thinks sometimes Obutu, she is not showing up for her friends. She sure. actually is. Yeah, I also you agree. Know? Yeah, I was to disagree with you mm. earlier when you were just like, "Oh, you show up," mm. even when yeah, even you said to you let us know whatever, so that, but even in letting us know, you've mm. never not answered a phone call. Yes, you know. So to someone who shows up for us, and sometimes it doesn't matter what is happening in her own life. Yeah, she will find a way to show up. For you as a friend, to yeah. an amazing wife, an amazing yeah. Wife. I was also wanted to say earlier, like what you're saying now, mm -hmm. but between the two of us, we're single girls, so it's mm -hmm. easier. Mm -hmm. But you show she up as much. Mm -hmm. But and, and for me, I always just feel like married women have a lot on, on their, their plate, plate. Mm -hmm. but you still show up as much as we show up. And we, 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 we just have to take care of our children. You mm -hmm. have a whole household mm -hmm. to take care that of, you need to but run. you still. Do as much, if not more, than us single girls. So, and that that's that's amazing. <laughs> give us so salt. Can I have uh, also, guys, we have flowers. Why don't you give us flowers? Uh, <laughs> symbol, specifically for you. Symbol. <laughs> God, yes, definitely. God is about to do amazing things in your life. Like, your wildest dreams. Like, um, will always just be like, do it, do it, do it. We are rooting for you as your yeah. friends, so do it. Whatever it is, whatever is in your heart, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to pursue, just do it. I know you want to go back to school, just do it. You can do it. And we... <laughs> Not to bang, but bala. Oh, just do it. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> you are going to do amazing in school, and you are going to get that title that you really want. And we're gonna get our second baby and our daughter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your little toy. I hope this is not your reality. Amen. <laughs> Can't be. Yeah. Can't yeah. People <laughs> live. They live with gangs. You are married, you live with Could sex. never be me. You have it, it's in your face. You wake up, it's in your face. You sleep, you, it's in your face. Could never be me. If, that, if I ever need a reason to get married, it's that. Huh? <laughs> Dick on platter. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry to ruin your mood. Let's hug again. Now we look. Mm. 
Okay guys, that is the end of our friendship video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's like I was about to say I hope you guys will enjoy it, but I'm like this comes at the end. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will link my friend's profiles below. You can just go and check out their channels. They are amazing people, as you can tell from this video. So, yeah. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah. share. What else do they do? Yeah, that's what that. they do. Click okay. the notification bell. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a real YouTuber now. <laughs>